President Joe Biden has ordered flags to fly at half-staff to honor Senator Harry Reid, who died Tuesday at 82 following a four-year battle with pancreatic cancer. On the day of his interment, the flag of the United States shall be flown at half-staff at the White House and upon all public buildings and grounds, at all military posts and naval stations, and on all naval vessels of the federal government in the District of Columbia and throughout the United States and its territories and possessions until sunset on such day, the President said in a proclamation on Wednesday. The order also applies to U.S. embassies, legations, consular offices, and other facilities abroad, including all military facilities and naval vessels and stations. Reid's career in the Senate, which included serving as the Democrats' majority leader, spanned three decades and overlapped with Biden's vice presidency as well as his own senatorial service. Throughout his long career of public service, Harry Reid was instrumental in passing landmark legislation that made a positive difference in the lives of countless Americans and made our nation stronger and safer, Biden also said. His devoted service to our nation was not about power for power's sake. It was about the power to do right by the American people. Reed is survived by his wife of 62 years, Landry Gould Reed, their five children and one grandchild. His career in public service began in the 1960s in Henderson, Nevada, where he was a city attorney. Reed was elected to the state assembly in 1968. He also served as Lieutenant Governor of Nevada from 1971 to 1975. He was a U.S. Senator 1987 until 2017. From humble roots in Searchlight, Nevada, Harry Reid rose to become one of the great Senate Majority Leaders in American history, Biden said. He was a man of action, and a man of his word, guided by faith loyalty, and unshakable resolve. <laughs>